Hello, callers. Welcome back to Viva Bassa and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest transfer stories. We start with Vitor Roche, as it has been reported that Barcelona's 45 million euro imminent new signing, Vitor Roche, did reject advances from a Premier League club just last week before making the deal to Barcelona successful. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about this other transfer report, claiming that Barcelona made inquiry for this 24-year-old Dutch midfielder who was bound for AC Milan. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Vitor Roque's move to Barcelona finally appears to be a done deal. The Brazilian young star always prioritized the move to Spotify Cam No, despite the countless suitors at his doorstep, and his dream is finally a reality. The Catalans have reportedly reached an agreement to sign the player until 2029 with his current employers Atletico Paranense, um, receiving a fee of 35 million euros with 10 million euros in variables. According to a report from Fabrizio, Fabrizio Romano, Barcelona's competitors did not give up until the very end in trying to lure Roger away. In fact, a top English side tried to hijack the deal even at the last moment. However, the youngsters agreed to sign for Barcelona helped them over the line. Atletico Paranense will retain the striker services until the end of the Brazilian league season, which ends in December. Roja will, substantially, um, will subsequently join Xavi and Angeles' setup in January when the winter transfer market opens, thus giving him the chance to continue his development in Brazil for five months. The 18-year-old has been fundamental to Wesley Cavallo's side this season, scoring a stunning seven goals and providing two assists in just 13 Brasileiro Serie A appearances. He is, in fact, the second highest goal scorer in the league ahead of the likes of Luis Suarez and Hawk. With Robert Lewandowski still on point for the Catalans, Roja would play second fiddle for most of next season had he arrived this month. Needless to say, postponing his arrival by six months in the, is the best solution for all parties involved. At just 18 years of age, Roja is one of the world's footballing best attacking prospects. Apart from his f um, finesse on the field, the youngster is said to have a real hunger to learn and a willingness to adapt with Chavis values a lot. Of course, Vitor Roca's signing was yesterday concluded. Fabrizio Romano himself did announce it. It's like it's a year we go. Barcelona is still to officially announce it. And I think this signing is a great signing for us. Um, of course, I'll, I'll call it a signing for the future. Of course, it has always been Barca's priority to bring in Vitor Roca. It has always been Barca's priority to look for a, a young striker to be as backup for Robert Lewandowski, who I think last season was having the load all by himself in that striking role. And I think from January onwards, that is when a player comes in January, I think Lewandowski himself will feel that load a, a little bit taken away from his shoulder because there's a backup on the bench that when Lewandowski is tired or is not available, he has somebody who will do it you know, against opponents to score the goals that Barca need. Vitor Roque has always been a huge admirer of Barcelona. It is no secret he has always been a Barca fan since he was a kid and it is a dream come true for the player and this report now claiming that almost at the last minute before Barca did officially get the deal done, um, Vitor Roque was almost like there was an English club but Fabrizio Romano did not name that English club. You know, there was an English club that were still pushing so hard, even at the last moment, to, to hijack the deal, but to no avail. It all was because of the player's desire to join Barca. And no matter how hard that English giant tried to lure the player or to hijack the player from Barca's hands, they could not succeed. Of course, I just have a feeling that it might be Chelsea. It just might be Chelsea. Who knows? 
So let's see how it goes for Vitor Roque. I think now he'll be one of the most happiest people in Brazil, you know, to achieve his dream. Every kid has a dream and his own dream was to play for Barca. He has been a Barca fan all his life as he himself has been admitting that on many public interviews. And of course, yesterday's signing was, I think, was great. Was great. Even though his signing came with a little bit of bad news at the other end, talking about Ada Guler, another 18-year-old um, young prospect who, as we got yesterday, by still the Fabrizio Romano that Real Madrid have secured the player's signature and they are the one who have won the race. Barca have lost the race for Ada Guler. So I think Barca received this, good, this news of Vita Roque with some mixed feelings because when we were just getting the report of that, then also... The report of losing out on Vitor Roque that many Barca fans really wanted him to join. It was a big blow. So it was just a bit, a little bit of positive and negative feelings in yesterday's transfer updates. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. With Barcelona looking to reinforce the pivot midfield position this summer. They have been linked with a host of players in the past few months. Such as Martin Zubimendi, Joshua Kimmich, Marcelo Brozovic, Ruben Neves, Fabrizio Diaz, and Oreo Romeo. And according to reports in Italy, as relayed by Sport, another name that has been on Barcelona's radar is that of AS Achma midfielder Tijani Richtas. The report states that the La Liga champions made inquiries for the 24 year old Dutch midfield enforcer. However, a move does not appear to be on the cards as the player is understood to be on his way to AC Milan in a move worth 20 million euros. Barcelona are looking for a cost-effective option to replace Busquets but have not had any luck in the market so far as they saw the market for possible targets. Richness um, appeared to have caught the eye of former director Judy Cruyff, the 24-year-old is a player that has been performing at a high level over the past couple of seasons and has been impressed by his physicality and quality on the ball. Barcelona are believed to have made tentative inquiries for the Dutchman, but it never went beyond that and a move appears highly unlikely now as the midfielder is heading to AC Milan as a replacement for Sandro Tonali. Of course, Resh Das wages could have or would have not been an issue for Barca, but the transfer fee could have been a challenge. However, the Rossoneri have the finances to pull off the deal following the big money sale of Sandro Tonali to Newcastle United. The Italian giants are understood to have been working on the deal for quite a long time now, and it appears that they will end up securing the player services. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.